<clears throat> all right guys welcome back to the channel mr blue here i'm going to show you something we got going on right now all right this is a glock 19 frame all right i've already got a quick start on it and then i decided to make this video but what you what's done on it is stuff you've seen on my channel already we've got an hd border going on all around the bottom around the top okay already got that cut in all right so here's what's happening next all right all the texture has been sanded off of this now i'm gonna go ahead and smooth that up because this customer is going to get a triple weave stippling pattern. All right, you've seen that before. You know how that's done. But what's going to be really awesome is it's going to get a custom Marine logo on this. All right, United States Marines, uh, you know, the Globe, Eagle, and Anchor. That's going on both sides of this. Okay, so first step is I have to polish this down, get it nice and slick, so I can put that logo on both sides. Stay tuned. If you don't know what you're doing, I don't suggest polishing your frame like this. I'm just saying. I just finished up on the polishing stage and we're about to begin some work. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is go ahead and lay down my stencil for my Globe Eagle and Anchor and get that going. And it's not, you can tell that it's not mirror finish, but it doesn't have to because considering the nature of this logo and how many edges it has and all the intricacies, uh, it just kind of adds to the appeal. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So, see I got my Eagle Globe and Anchor on the transfer paper. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a couple different sizes of this cut out. I make my own custom stencils and I'm gonna try to lay this out. I think this is gonna be a little too big, but uh, I'll wait on here and show you what we got. Got the stencils on. Uh, had a much larger stencil on and decided against that. So now we have this one. Got a single intercut going on, nice and big and smooth. All right, got a nice uniform match on the back and Eagle Globe and Anchor on this side. We're ready to begin stippling. All right, I'll, uh, what you'll see is I'm gonna put you on time lapse here in just a minute and I'm gonna micro dot around everything 
and then go from there. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So what you're about to see is I want to begin the micro stippling process around the outside of this. So I just pick a point and we just start going around it. It's pretty simple. And there's no real trick to it. It's just like, stay off the yellow. See, I just touched it already. It ain't no big deal. And what this does is it allows you on, depending on what kind of stippling style is gonna go around the logos or emblems, I will, I can skip this step. Or if it's getting Cerakoted, there, I mean, there's just different ways around it, but this one's not getting Cerakoted. So I like to start with a nice micro all the way around it. And that way it's easier to stipple around it. This is a slow process. You wanna make sure you don't get in the yellow because then that makes everything look crappy. You can kind of see right there, it just raises up a nice border around that. So then when I actually start the triple weave pattern on this, I don't have to go so slow and just get right to the edge. Like I said, if it was a different pattern, like if this was my skid pattern, I could skip this step. So this is it. This is what this is the life of a custom framework. Be cool if I had some music going. I don't. So that's it, guys. That's how that works. You can see that line that's raising up around there. I'm going to put you on hyperspeed and finish this up. All right, guys, so the outline on the Eagle Globe and Anchor is finished. All right, got it stippled, got the continent stippled, and it's ready to go. All right, so the next thing we'll have to do is the other side. So I'm, I'm going to skip the time lapse on that since you're saying One other thing I got to do is I got to finish sanding this back strap out, but we're making progress. Stay tuned. <clears throat> All right, guys, so both sides of this frame are ready to go again um i've just outlined both logos now i've already started the triple weave on the back i'm gonna see if i can get you angled in here that's not gonna focus too good because it's light but so you can see i got the weave started and i'm just gonna start it and keep it going all the way from the back strap around both sides and this gun will be complete stay tuned and get you on time lapse All right, guys, so you've watched a lot of time lapse on the stippling job, and it is looking pretty. All right, in the south, that means it looks good. We say pretty. All right, so let me turn this way. All right, so you see, I got one little stripe right here, and I'll go ahead and stipple it up in real time. And since I start on the back, so everything is seamless until it gets right here the finger grooves and nobody really sees that part anyways. So I'm about to finish that up. I'll weave it all together. 
and we will be done so. This is the best part about a stipple job, finishing one up. And like I said, they don't always match up perfectly wherever they, wherever your two sides connect. Did this one a little differently than I do most of them. I have to start it on the back strap. I usually start it on either side. But sometimes it happens. See like right there, that just weaved together perfect. You can't see where it ended, where it ends, where it begins. Same thing right here. That's why you gotta start out with a good angle. You kinda know where you're going. Finish this up. I'll pull the stencils off, show you what it looks like. It's all finished, looking good. Boom, just like that. This frame is done, so a couple last steps. All right, there you go. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a razor. I'm gonna make sure I've covered everything on the inside, which even if I pull it off, you won't be able to tell. Everything's covered. The hardest part about this is, you know, I start out with that micro border around both logos. Is just when I'm weaving it, putting a weave pattern on it, just not getting into the, again, not getting into the yellow, which it makes a lot easier because I microed around it first. So let's pull these stencils off. This is fun. So you should just take a razor and start it somewhere. Try not to scratch what's underneath. All I gotta do is get that started up. And we'll pull it right out of there. Sometimes it doesn't come all off together. Start it over. And you'll see anywhere where I touch the yellow, there'll be a little bit of yellow left. But I can wear that out. Check it out, guys. What y'all think about that? Would have been really cool, and it's hard to see, but it man, it turns out really awesome. Is if I put. Um, if people get this part Cerakoted, the part I leave slick, if I Cerakote that first, it really makes it pop. If you didn't go for that option, and now it makes it like nearly impossible to Cerakote that afterwards, but it still looks really clean. I'm gonna pull this side off of it, and I'll be back in a minute to show you a few other finishing touches gotta put on it. All right, guys, here's what we're looking at. Glock 19 frame, HD border, triple weave stippling pattern, single undercut, nice and polished up. I just finished that up off camera. And marine logo on either side. One more thing we gotta do. So I don't know if I've showed you this before. All right, so I'm taking a small butane torch, AKA crack lighter. And what I do is I call this a flame bass. I just lightly just heat, just throw a little flame on this. No more than that right there. And what it does is it just kind of smooths your edges out. Makes everything look nice and glossy too. And it also gets rid of any like little little hairy spots. I'm gonna have to get you off camera for a second. Made a new lighter. This one's that's it's seen better days for sure. And also burn that any of that yellow that was left from that stencil burn that off there you gotta be careful not to touch anything when it's hot like this because it'll uh you'll smear your stuff Alright guys, 
you're looking at a finished product. All right, so I know what some of y'all are wondering. All right, how much does this cost? All right, so I'll break it down real quick. Any stippling for me to even start on your gun, $75. If it's small frame gun, a small frame gun like a Glock 26 or smaller, Glock 43, Glock 40, whatever, 43Xs, those will be 65. But this is a full size and up, so that's what I consider anyways. You're looking at $75, $25 for HD border. Logos are $50 a side, depending on what you want. Some of them are a little cheaper, some of them are a lot more expensive. So this is 50 and 50. Uh, also, there's a stenciling fee because I have to, it costs money to run a computer and find a logo, manipulate the logo. I've got a lot of time into that, so there's an extra stencil fee. And that's it, man. Oh, undercut. Sorry, undercut is, single undercut is 15. All right, so you got one undercut, stippling, HD border, two logos. I mean, if that doesn't, if that don't make you want to say simplify, ooh, rah, then I don't know what does. Guys, appreciate y'all sticking with us, checking our channel out. I'll make sure and try to uh, maybe throw in a picture of what this gun looks like, slide on it. The guy, uh, his name's Derek. He also, on his slide, he already has the top of the slide laser engraved with the same emblem. So, it's a sweet package, guys. Hit us up. We are FFL. I can get this. I've had this gun since, you see, today's February 22nd. I think this gun showed up on February the 9th or 10th. So you're looking at less than two weeks. This thing will go in the mail today. Guys, appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe. Appreciate that everybody, everybody that's been subscribing. The channel is now over a thousand viewers, which is really cool. And um, I'd stop making these videos if y'all wasn't watching them. So really appreciate it, guys.